Good morning, everybody, and welcome back from more Stardew Valley. Uh, we got our level 10 foraging finally, so I can stop going and getting useless hardwood that I don't need and uh, running around looking for stupid forageable items. But the cool thing about this uh, tracker, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but over here on the left-hand side of my screen, there's an arrow, and it points to where the wiggly squigglies are and it points to where um, like forageable items are if you're looking for those still and so I'm super excited for that um, it helps a lot when you go to the desert to uh, search for the treasures there and just I don't know it's just really helpful no wrong chest um, there's Robin right there working on our working on our house and our potatoes are done so I can uh, pick these and be done growing stuff for the season uh, because uh, spring is almost over and we're getting ready to go into summer which means I'll have stuff to do again because I gotta catch a bunch of different fish and uh, I think the last legendary you can catch in summer as well so we should be done with our uh, fishing catalog uh, in the next season uh, and that means we get another star drop so I'll have even more energy that I don't need because energy never runs out once you get past a certain point I wish the star if you had like the more energy you had the later you could stay up or something so I didn't have to like leave the mines at a certain point and go to sleep but unfortunately that's not a mechanic that's in this game and hey, you hammer that house I like big houses give me a bigger house uh, let's see. Let's go into our bat cave and find our bat computer. A salmon berry. Give me another apricot. Uh, or we need another tapper for our tree here. I'm gonna probably gonna end up cutting down a whole bunch of these trees because I don't really need this many. Uh, but we do need another tapper, so I'm gonna go make that and throw it on here. Oh, I need to sell these potatoes out of my inventory as well. It means I'm going to have to re-fertilize uh, this soil, but it's fine. I have plenty of sap. You get out of my inventory. Uh, copper bar and two copper bars and wood. I've only got $5,000 right now because I just spent fifty grand on that freaking house upgrade, but uh, it's out of the way, and I'm getting ready to get money back from these potatoes, so it's fine. Uh... We don't have to get hardwood every day anymore, so that's a plus. Uh, I want to go to the desert and uh, show you guys how this foraging thing works. What what was my fortune today? Let's run and check real quick. Cause so I'll do a mines run if I'm gonna go to the desert. Not a weather report. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Mmm, maybe not go there then. Uh, maybe the beach will be more favorable. I don't know. The forager is really useful because, like, it just shows you where all the things are so you don't have to wander around looking for them. There's some wiggly squigglies, and there's two little arrows over there on the side of the screen. So, dried starfish. I already have that treasure. So now I can, like, instead of walking over here to the side and saying you know oh there's nothing on the beach I can just walk on the screen and look for the arrows and it'll literally be like hey there's stuff on the screen or there's not stuff on the screen uh, but let's go ahead and head to the desert because we don't have anything else to be doing until summer rolls around and uh, Emily's birthday is until tomorrow so let's go ahead and go do a mines run even though we had a shitty uh, fortune I saved the eel because it gives you luck. Uh, there's a, multiple things that affect the luck stat, but the eel is the really easy one to get because you just get them from killing those stupid flying bastards in the in the skull cavern. My capture is all kinds of fucked up right now. I don't know. The black boxes are getting on my nerves. It's a tiny thing to worry about, but it's it's kind of annoying. 
Uh, there's a... See, look, there's the little yellow dot, and it told me where the Wiggly Squigglies were. And apparently I missed something down here. Uh, more wiggly squigglies. Mixed seeds. I think I'm going to use all of the mixed seeds that I have saved up when summer rolls around just because I, it'll save me some money and I can grow some random crops. But well, we're going to go ahead and head into the skull mines here. Ooh, slime right away. Get anything good there's a ladder I can just go ahead and head down but why would I do that when there's slimes to murder that uh, I have a chance to drop me some uh, ooh, I need to eat one of these while I'm thinking about it I have a chance to drop iridium and come on come on over here and fight me I need your delicious food anyway bombs help too There's a ladder right there. Not hearing anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and head down. Ooh, there's a slime. Come here, come here, baby. Give me some iridium. Yes. There's a ladder for us. There's an aquamarine, beautiful. Red mushroom for me to sell. Ooh, double geodes. Come here, slime. I need to murder you for your ore. And a ladder. That's beautiful. Mm. Ooh, a ruby. Not to be confused with Sapphire. There's a Pokemon run that I'm playing right now. Uh, Mega Bomb right here. And run back to the entrance before I take unnecessary stupid damage. I don't know why I bother collecting all this stone. I guess in case I get stuck or something and I need to make a ladder down. I love that video. And my uh, grade school uh, music teacher, Miss Clark, played that song for the class and everyone just cracked up laughing and it was the best of times it was the worst of times because grade school but god stop hitting me with your stupid bullshit come here oh crit box right in my way with some ore in it I use a bomb to blow up all this gold Ooh, in a hole. I'm gonna kill the slime and then I'm gonna jump down it. Explode into babies so I have more freaking chances at war. Yes. Jump down the hole. Yes, they go down the hole. Ooh, and iridium. This has been a good mines run. And I say that, and now I'm probably gonna die to something stupid. Definitely eat some food before my health drops to zero and I get super pissed off like I have the last two times I've died down here. I hate these stupid invincible bugs because it could be any other enemy that spawns that I could kill and potentially get a ladder. Of course there's a ladder there. Potentially get a ladder, but I can't kill those bugs because they're freaking invincible. Ah, oh, overrun with monsters, yes. As long as they're all slimes, that's all I care about, because these slimes just drop so much ore. Look, I just got two there, one from the last guy. Come here, slimes. Oh, another giant one. Yes! He wasn't even kind enough to split into babies. hear a giant slime and I also see a ladder I'm 
Purple slime egg, yeah! I really need to make that incubator because I have two slime eggs now. I think it holds 20 slimes if I remember correctly. And I wasted a bomb because there's a freaking ladder over there. Why does that keep happening? There's another aquamarine. This, uh, I haven't been able to cut any of this out so far because I keep getting good loots. A diamond and some iridium. Good, good mines. Good mines trip. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Give me a ladder. Give me a ladder. Come on. Don't make me make one because I really don't want to mine all these individual rocks. There we go. Oh, double giant slimes, some boxes. This is a good floor. Oh, and a free iridium bar. God, this has been a good run. Do, 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 do. Kill stuff. Uh, let's break all this shit. Hello, flying bitch. Hello, other flying bitch. Go ahead and head down. I don't want to deal with the flying guys if I don't have to. Uh, you didn't split into babies and give me more loot. I'm disappointed in you. And there's just regular bats again. Well, they gave me a ladder, so that's all I care about. Ooh, another red mushroom. I better eat some more roots platters before I end up dying again. I always say that. I gotta keep an eye on my health, for real, because if I lose shit this run, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> The, the series is cancelled because I died on a really good mines trip and lost all my shit. Uh, I need to make more bombs. That's a, that'd be a good thing to focus on one day while I'm not recording. Ooh, yes, give me that spicy eel. Ooh, yes, give me that bomb. The super bombs are just the easiest ones to get because all it takes is gold ore and one of each of the essences to make it. Ooh, and a hole for me to jump down? Yes, it go down the hole. Some iron ore, there's an aquamarine over there and I means to have it. There's a diamond and a ruby and an aquamarine. Give me that diamond. And there's a giant slime over there. Just keeps getting better and better. No, don't take stupid damage from the flying bastard. Uh, I'm gonna super bomb this and hope there's a ladder. There's a hole. Come here, bitches. He even had the courtesy to split into some baby slimes and give me more loot. Spell more four levels. Uh, and drop a super bomb and hope for a ladder or a hole. Of course not. There's another diamond and of course I wasted another bomb. I just walked down three more feet. Ooh, a hole. Get me down to 40. Yes! It means Iridium can start spawning. Oh, and you drop me right in the middle next to all the beautiful boxes that give me gorgeous loot. I want that. Um... <laughs> Dwarf scroll, I guess. Get out of my inventory. I don't need you. Emerald, I want you. Uh, ma 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 I guess algae get out of my inventory because I've already got a bunch of you. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a set of stairs.
because I want to get to the next floor. There's some amethyst over here and I'm going to grab it and then I'm going to run. Uh, slime, I don't need you. Let me out of here, let me out. I got just in time. Let me out! Let me out! This is not a dance! I'm screaming for help! I'm begging for help! This... Eleven grand from just the potatoes, so that's pretty good. 13,000 gold in one day. Not a bad day. <laughs> and today is Emily's birthday. Now we can get crazy relationship points because we gave her a birthday present. Let's see, her spirits are somewhat annoyed, so... Not a terrible day to go to the mines, but I probably won't do two mines runs in a row. Okay. Uh, check our trees, and if they are not, in, ooh, there is some stuff over there. Woohoo! More kegs. Just the one? That's lame. Hang on to that. Okay, to Emily's house. We get to stand creepily in front of her door until she decides to open up and let us in. Okay, make or break time. If we screwed up and didn't, and it doesn't count towards her birthday present, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, cool, it did count. And what did that get us up to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, we got eight hearts. Which means we skipped a heart event for a recipe, but whatever. Uh, eight hearts? Do we get another? We do get another heart event at eight. And that also means I can go to Pierre's and buy a bouquet. Actually, I'm going to buy several bouquets because there's a mechanic that is broken for some reason and you can give uh, as many bouquets as you want. So let, I just gave her... Uh, <laughs> Look, I only had to give her like a couple freaking bouquets and I'm already up to nine. So let's just uh, keep giving her until it gets up to ten. Alright! Ten hearts, baby, which means I just wasted all those money on these bouquets, but yes, yes, yes. She is our girlfriend now, so I'm super excited for that. Now I just gotta wait for a rainy day. I just gotta wait for a, uh, it only took five, that's not too bad. That would have been a thousand gold if I hadn't, uh, <laughs> bought twenty of them like an idiot. But, uh, I think I can just go and sell them back. Actually, I'm just gonna try and sell them to my thing in my, in my, uh, house over there. But now I gotta wait on a, oh, we skipped that heart event, I'm an idiot. Uh, but whatever. Ten, the ten heart event will still trigger, um, which is the important one. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, my diamonds are ready. Uh, yes, I can just sell those right back. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to actually waste a diamond here to get rid of the one that's making an amethyst. And put an amethyst in this last one. I'm going to take that and put it right in here so it's actually making diamonds just like the rest of these. <laughs> These diamonds are good. Like, how many do I have saved up right now? 46. I really want to sell all of those because then I could just buy the last two upgrades and end the game right here. But I'm not going to. Um, what else do we want to do with our day now that we have a potential marriage candidate? I really need it to be a rainy night so I can go and buy the mermaid pendant and we can get married. I think I'm going to... Uh, 
run around and do a couple things and just go ahead and head back to the farm because I don't have much left to do until summer rolls around. So um, let's just, I'll see you guys back at the farm when it's time to go to sleep. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go to sleep and uh, end the episode here, guys, because uh, I'm going to do the hard event with Emily. I'll probably just record a, a clip of that and put it in the next episode, but I'm just going to sleep until summer gets here because there's really not anything for us to do except for do mines runs and I don't have to forage anymore since I got that uh, upgrade finally, but uh, we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to go to sleep and see how much money we made. We shouldn't have made any, I don't think, but uh, I got another achievement for but uh, I'm going to end this episode here I'm pro like I said I'm probably just going to record the clip of the hard event with Emily and start into the summer after that clip plays the next time so uh, I'll see you guys next time for more Stardew Valley I have a crazy idea that I want to evolve you and it's called clothing therapy please come meet me at the mayor's house today and see what it's all about oh I get to do this hard event too that's awesome um, so that means I'm not skipping the, uh, level 8 hard event. Why am I not taking my horse? I'm gonna go grab my horse. Alright, so here we are at the Mayor's Manor. This is the, uh, 8 hard event with Emily. And she's going to, like, do us a little fashion show here with her, uh, clothing skills. Clothing therapy. Based on the amazing power of self-expression, self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? Didn't know that. How are you fitting racks and racks of clothes behind that curtain? Are you an alien? Do you have TARDIS technology? Gotta have TARDIS technology. There's nothing behind the curtain. Keep an open mind. All right, I got you. Of course, Shane is all. Eh, I'm depressed. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna do, Robin? Oh, a pretty little dress and a heart. <laughs> What's Lewis gonna come? It, please tell me he's dressed as like a crown, clown or something. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> close enough. It's like a circus leader or something. He's got a cane. It's like a sweet little cane. That's pretty awesome. Abigail, my previous waifu. <laughs> She's a knight. <laughs> She's the nerdy one that likes video games and shit. <laughs> and of, of course, of course she comes out as a knight. That's awesome. Clint? Clint, what are you going to be? Come on, Clint. What you got? What you got, son? Okay. He's got a little beret. He looks like Jamie Hyndman from fucking Mythbusters. I like it. I like it, Clint. You should keep that. Oh, now it's my turn. Is it my turn? Oh, she was gonna confess her love for me. <laughs> of course you're interrupting, Clint. 
Isn't isn't doesn't he have like a secret crush on her? Aren't I stealing his woman? Oh, okay. So that was that clip. So I think if I go home and go to sleep again, that the second uh, heart event, the ten heart event, will occur because you're supposed to get a letter in the mail and we uh, go and have some activities with her. So I'm uh, gonna go and sleep and hopefully that will trigger the event to happen again. So hey everybody, Ransom here and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on what I come up with next. Also give this video a share as I'm trying to grow the channel and every little bit helps. And I will see you in the next video.